A Pleasant Grove man is getting a lesson in federal bureaucracy. Steve Schrader applied for a passport for his 15-year-old daughter, Danelle, so she could take a trip to Ecuador this summer. But when they received a package on Wednesday from a passport processing center in Charleston, South Carolina, the passport inside was for a 37-year-old man. Danelle's passport came on Thursday, but Schrader is still trying to find out what to do with someone else's passport, birth certificate, and social security card. Schrader said he, he was concerned that the U.S. State Department could make a mistake that would leave someone so open to identity theft. Schrader has spoken several times with Representative Chris Cannon's office, which is acting as a go-between between between him and the State Department. Fred Piccolo, a spokesman for Cannon, said mistakes at passport agencies have increased due to a flood of new passport applications. Those applications have increased dramatically since January, when federal regulations went into place requiring U.S. citizens to have passports in order to fly to Mexico and Canada.